According to a new preprint paper that was published to the ARXIF server at the tail end of October 2022, scientists from Argentina's National University say they've discovered a large structure in a largely unobserved part of the Milky Way galaxy. These findings were included in the paper. Even though it's been sent to the journal Astronomy and Astrophysics, the article still needs to be evaluated by its peers. To set the record straight, this structure is not any man-made object, rather it's a newly discovered galaxy cluster hiding behind the Milky Way. Given how difficult it is to observe other objects while traveling through the Milky Way, the fact that researchers were even able to observe this galaxy cluster at all is very exciting. What is occurring on the other side of the galaxy from us, and why is everything so mysterious on that side? Let's begin with a straightforward mental workout, shall we? You're part of this world so it stands to reason that you occupy some space in it. So what do you actually see when you look out into space from where you live? Now, not referring to the expanse of space above your location. Instead, imagine that you could see through the land, the sea, and the magma to reach the other side. The same can be said about humankind's efforts here on Earth to look through the Milky Way galaxy in order to see what's located beyond it. The zone of avoidance is the name given to the obscure region of space produced by the Milky Way galaxy. But isn't the vast majority of the galaxy just an empty space? In that sense, it's possible to look through a significant portion of our neighborhood solar system. However, two factors make this more difficult. The first is the physical nature of the Milky Way, which can be compared to a cooked giant egg, with the Earth situated at the very tip of the white part of the egg. Now, have you ever tried looking through a window from the edge rather than the face? If so, you might notice that the white space appears mostly devoid of anything. It's extremely skewed, and there's a possibility that it's irrelevant because even things that appear clear have flaws that become more apparent the longer one looks at them. When one examines a large fish tank, it's simple to see through the expansive and shallow front view of the wall behind the tank. However, it's more difficult to see through the ends of the tank. Attenuation is the term used to describe this effect. Mediums such as water and glass obstruct the passage through of light after a sufficient amount of distance has been traveled. In addition, the galactic clutter consists of planets, stars, and particulate matter, all of which contribute to a hazy view of the portions of the Milky Way that are relatively unobstructed. A supermassive black hole millions of times the size of the Sun is located at the very center of the Milky Way. Millions of other stars also orbit it, forming a dense, glittering cluster that is even more difficult to see through. Now that we've discussed what causes shadows, let's turn our attention to the light source itself. The unique form of light pollution in space is called extragalactic background light. As a result of the fact that the universe is almost infinitely large and continuing to grow, the light that stars produce stays in the mix virtually forever. Imagine a photograph with a lengthy exposure, particularly the kind your phone might suggest you take while it's set to night mode. Light has the ability to travel and create new illumination wherever it goes. This light travels into almost an infinite space, intensifying the shadows cast by the non-luminous physical barriers in the galaxy, such as planets and dust. The scrambling effect is better than the best fool our facial recognition pattern masks thanks to numerous objects and speckles that hide what's behind them and cast shadows. As well as the luminous objects that hide what's behind them, the massive black hole that hides what's behind it, and the numerous objects and speckles that obscure and cast shadows on what's behind them. The region produced as a result of this is referred to as the Zone of Avoidance, which encompasses approximately 20% of the sky seen from Earth. It's similar to a pie slice that expands as you move further away from our vantage point within the Milky Way, which prevents us from seeing a significant portion of the galaxy in fine detail. Additionally, it prevents us from seeing everything that lies behind and beyond it. You've all watched the superhero film Wanted, which was released back in 2008. Here, characters can bend bullets through the air if they wanted. However, this ability doesn't exist in real life. For centuries, scientists have pondered whether or not it's possible to look through this zone of avoidance in some fashion. On Earth, checking your rearview mirror over your shoulder before switching lanes on the highway may be all that's required to see what's lurking in your vehicle's blind spot. However, there wasn't always a foolproof method to accomplish that in space. Scientists have been forced to develop brand new methods to try and see through the physical and photonic clutter. After some time, they concluded that if they changed the spectrum of light being utilized, from the visible spectrum to the infrared zone, the Milky Way could be explored and surveyed by our extensive collection of remote instruments with a great deal more ease. In the wake of this discovery, 
Various instruments have been surveying the Milky Way using infrared bandwidths for the past four decades. Beginning with the IRAS survey in 1983, this practice has been ongoing. In addition, X-rays and radio waves have been investigated by the scientific community. However, up until this point, the majority of survey activities have concentrated on locating and tallying the number of galaxies or clusters in an effort to merely verify that they do, in fact, exist. What if this 20% of the sky is a single superstructure that occupies the entire shadow region, just like some villain in a cartoon? We've yet to determine enough to dismiss that possibility, even though it's a bit laughable. In this new body of research, scientists have taken things to the next level by attempting to find a similar dense region outside the Milky Way hidden within the Zone of Avoidance. They did this by counteracting the effects of the Zone of Avoidance. According to Weiss, researchers were able to locate this cluster within the Zone of Avoidance by using a project called the VVV Survey. This survey scans the Milky Way bulge at infrared wavelengths using VISTA, or Visible and Infrared Survey Telescope for Astronomy, in Paranal, Chile. Weiss explains that this enabled the researchers to identify the cluster. The researchers made use of a near-infrared instrument called Flamingos 2, which is housed on the Gemini South Telescope in Chile. This allowed them to zero in on the intriguing region. The findings provide fresh information regarding five galaxies located approximately 3 billion light-years away, all of which, according to the researchers, are part of a much larger cluster. They discovered an extragalactic structure which refers to an object or collection of objects outside the Milky Way galaxy. The researchers demonstrated that the over-dense region they selected to concentrate on for the study possesses many of the same characteristics as other galaxy clusters already known to us through their analysis of this region. They observed this and used techniques such as redshift, which involves tracking what can be seen in the infrared spectrum and reverse calculating its likely presence in the visible spectrum to obtain an overall impression of the dense region located outside of our galaxy. Now, the agreement of the redshifts obtained from these three different methods and the estimated cluster parameters allows the researchers to confirm the nature of the structure as a galaxy cluster, revealing a new extragalactic system hidden behind the Milky Way bulge. But what do you think? Make sure to let us know in the comment section below.